If you wanna learn your divisibility rules, you're in the right place. Today we're gonna to learn the divisibility rules for our first few numbers here, two through 11. All right, we're gonna test them on our test numbers that you can see up here. But first guys, I'm the math professor, Kyle Martin. This is the channel where do your math homework fast and accurately. So if that sounds good to you, subscribe down below. But without further ado, let's get into it. Before we dive into our first rule, two quick things I need to tell you. One, there are timestamps in the video player down below, so drag it to whichever one you need. If you need a particular number, you can do that. Um, and secondly, two of these are really weird, all right? Number seven and 11 to find their divisibility rules. Actually, those in a separate video because they would take way too long for this one. So if you can check out this uh, card up here, that'll tell you all you need to know about the divisibility for seven and 11. All right, let's jump into our first one, which is the digit two. Of course, I think we probably know this one. It has to be even, meaning that it ends in zero. 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, which our test numbers all do. So these are all, all three, divisible by 2. All right, the rule for 3 says if we add up all the digits of that number, all right, and their sum is divisible by 3, then so is the whole thing. All right, so let me quick add these digits up for you for our test numbers. All right, so after adding those up, I saw that my first one, these digits add up to be 15. 15, I know, is divisible by three. The idea is to get it to kind of a smaller number that you're able to do, right? So since 15 is divisible by three, so is the whole thing. 33, of course, that's uh, 11. 11 times three is 33. So this would also work for our digit of three. Then lastly, of course, nine is divisible by three. All right, the rule for four says if the last two digits of your number is divisible by four, then so is the whole thing. All right, so let's look here. Uh, here, my last two digits are 80. 80, of course, is 20 times four, so this one would work. Uh, what about this one, 96? Well, let's see, four goes into nine twice with 16 remainder. 16 is divisible by four, so yes, this would also work. And then 40, of course, is 10 times four, so our other one will work. So far, they all are divisible by two, three, and four. This next one, five, is one that we probably know. If it ends in a zero or a five, it is divisible by five, all right? So here, our first number, 5,280, ends in a zero. So therefore, this one is divisible by five. This one ends in a six. This one does not work for five. But again, this one ends in a zero for our last number, so this one is divisible by five. All right, the divisibility check for six is really simple. If it's both divisible by two and three, which we already checked, then it's also gonna be divisible by six, all right? And you can see that all three of our numbers here were both divisible by two and three, so we can also say that they all are divisible by six, all right? And then one more time, again, I didn't do seven or 11 in this video. Those are gonna be in that separate video down in the description. In my opinion, the next one, eight, is the hardest one because the rule says if the last three digits of your whole number is divisible by eight, so is the whole thing, okay? So if we look at our first number here, um, the last three digits are 280. And if I think of 280, is that divisible by eight? Well, I don't really know. I have to kind of do some mental math here. I know eight can go into 28, three times, that'd be 24, and that'll leave you with 40 left over. Yes, 40 is divisible by eight, so I think this would work, all right? What about the next one, 396? Well, eight goes into 39, uh, it goes into 45 times, so it has to go into 39 four times, and that would be 32, leaving you with 76 left over. Um, let's see, again, I know that'd be, it goes into 80 10 times, so 76, uh, there's a difference of four there, so I don't think that's going to work for our second number. All right. And then our last number, 240 for the last three digits. Well, again, eight goes into 24 three times. And then since there's a zero at the end, uh, you know that it is going to be divisible by 240. The divisibility rule for nine is very similar to our divisibility rule for three, which says if we add up all of our digits and find their sum, then that sum, if it's divisible by nine, then so is our whole number. So when we did it for three, we found those sums already. So I can just use those, right, and see if those are are divisible by nine. And if it is, then the whole thing will be divisible by nine. So 15, not divisible by nine. So this one won't work for nine. 33, again, not divisible by nine. So I can't use it there. But nine divided by nine, of course, is one. So this one is divisible by nine. The divisibility rule for 10 is pretty simple. If it ends in a zero, it is going to be divisible by 10. All right, so I think for 5,280, this one is divisible by 10, as well as 3,240. All right, and then also remember that uh, seven and 11, I did those in that other video, which you can find right here. Which ones did you guys know? Let me know in the comments down below. And then also, if you found this helpful, or if you didn't know any of these, give me a thumbs up. That shows me this video is helpful for you, and I'll keep making more like them in the future. See you in the next one.